on uh, simplification using uh, KMAP. So we start with simplification using two variable KMAP. Okay. So this is the step okay, in simplifying logic expression using KMAP. Okay, first step, you need to write SOP expression from the truth table. So you must remember the SOP expression in chapter 3. Second step, you need to plot 1 on the KMAP for each product term. Okay, for example, if you have um, 3 product term, so means that you need to have 3 value 1 okay, in your uh, KMAP. Okay? Or you need to plot 1 on the KMAP for each output y that equal to 1. Means that you need to count the total number of 1 in your truth table. Okay? So the total, the total number of 1 in your truth table must equal with the total number of 1 in your KMAP okay, when you map the value. Third step, you need to draw uh, loops around adjacent cells. So that's why adjacent cell is a important uh, thing in the KMAP. So you must understand what means by adjacent cell. Okay. So the loops uh, that you can uh, loop must contain uh, power of two uh, number of cells. Yeah. So either 2, 4, 8 or 16. Okay, that is a number of uh, adjacent cells that you can loop together. Okay, so either the, num the, the number of uh, adjacent cells is equal to 2 cells, okay, 4 cells, 8 cells or 16 cells. So this is only the number of cells that you can loop together. Okay, the loops may overlap. Step uh, number four, you repeat step two and three. So meaning that uh, you still need continue to loop the value of one. And then each loop you produce the simplified product term. Okay, so this is the, actually the, the minimum uh, product term for two variable K map. Okay, so one cell group uh, yields two variable product term. Means that when you have one cell K group, so it will provide uh, two variable product term as a simplified term. Okay, if you group two cell, so it will produce one variable product term as a simplified term. And then if you group all cell, uh, which is four cell, okay, it will produce one for the expression. And then last step, you need to order simplified product term. Okay. So I will show you how we are going to simplify by using KMAP. Okay, so this is the example. So given an all gate truth table. So this is your truth table. Okay. So the first step is actually you need to write the SOP expression. So this is your SOP expression. Okay. And then this SOP expression also can be written as Y equals to value 1, 2 or 3 because each combination is actually equal to this decimal value. So this is 1, okay, this is 2 and then this is 3. Okay. So I draw K map here okay, because these are two variables. So you need to have 4 cell okay, and then this is the uh, value. And then uh, you can put the uh, the number inside your K map. So this is a cell zero. Okay, this is cell one. Okay, this is cell two, and then this is cell three. So you need uh, to plot one on the K map. Okay, the next step. Okay, after you draw your K map, so you need to uh, plot one on the K map, uh, which is cell one, two, or three. Okay. Or you can map this on the product term. Okay, each product term. For example, for the first product term is A bar and B. So you need to find which cell that represent A bar and B. So this is A bar and B or cell number one. So you put one. Okay, and then next, 
a b bar okay a b bar so a b bar is here okay and then the last one is a and b so a and b is here means that you you have three value of one in your k map yeah uh, it's same as the value in your truth table so because your truth table have three y that equal to one that's why in your truth uh, your k map also must have three okay once okay and then next step you need to uh, look the adjacent cell okay you need to look the adjacent cell okay i think i want to change the color of my pen okay so you need to draw look okay look the adjacent cells uh, for this example there are two pair of one that can be looked uh, together okay, which is cell number one and number three and number two and number three okay so you need to find the adjacent cell so this uh, these two cell is adjacent so you can draw loop here okay and then you go for the balance of one that uh, not been uh, loop okay which is this value so you can look together with the uh, this value that's why in the step it stated that the loop may overlap so you can overlap the loop right so uh, in this example there are two loops so for each loop we'll produce one simplified product term okay so how you can find the simplified product term okay for example for the first loop Okay, so for the first loop, what is the simplified product term? So the simplified product term is actually uh, you need to take out the similar variable for that loop. Uh, okay, for that loop. Okay, for example, okay, for the first, okay, for this value, okay, for this uh, cell, okay, what is a uh, product term for this cell? This is a b bar okay and then this cells okay is a and b okay so you need to make comparison between these two product term so based on these two product term okay uh, which variable is uh, similar yeah or same for uh, those two cells so based on this product term a is uh, similar for both cells so it means that for this loop okay for this loop the simplified uh, term is actually equal to a okay faham uh, maksudnya you kena keluarkan variable yang sama dalam cell yang telah you loop tu you kena compare between product term lah uh, between these two product term, dua cell ni, so you need to make comparison and then you need to extract, you can asingkan, you can keluarkan the similar variable for this case A okay, uh, contained in these two cells, so that's why A as a simplified term okay, we look at this the second loops for this loop, these two loop, what is this, the similar variable for this loop? B right okay because here you have B here also you have B so this second loop the simplified term is actually equal to B okay right so the last step okay last step okay you need to or for both product term okay for both simplified product term yang you dah keluarkan tadi okay so in this case Y equal to A plus B. So this is actually the simplified expression okay, for this truth table. Uh, so this is how you simplify your uh, truth table by using K map. Okay, so that is a step. Uh, so this is actually uh, the explanation uh, for the simplification. So sama lah apa yang saya ceritakan tadi. So we look at another example. So this is another example. Okay. Shown below is a non uh, gate truth table and k map, so you need to simplify your uh, truth table. So, same as previous uh, example, so you need to map first step is actually you need to map the value. So, you have three one, k 
Okay, means that in your K map, you also must have three. Okay, so you need to find the cell uh, for each uh, output. Okay, for example, for the first output. Okay, zero, zero. So zero, zero is actually equal to A bar and B bar. So A bar and B bar. So you, yeah. Okay. And then the second one is A bar and B. So A bar and B. So here. And the last one is A B bar. So A B bar. Right. So you have three value. Okay. Same as the value in your truth table. Three value. And then next, you um, draw edges, uh, loops okay, for the adjacent cells. Uh, so for this one, you have two loops. Okay. This is the first loop. Okay, and then this is the first loop, the second loop. Okay, you have two loops. So for each loop, we produce one simplified term. So how you get the simplified term? You need to make comparison between these two values. Okay, and then you need to uh, get the, the same variable for these two cells. Uh, so for these two cells, okay, for these two cells, okay, cell here and here. Okay, so for these two cells, so cell uh, 0 and cell, cell 2, the, the same variable is B bar. Okay, and then for this one, okay, the next uh, loop, okay, what is uh, the same uh, variable? So the same variable is actually A bar. So the last step, you just all for both simplified term. So, the simplified equation is actually equals to A bar plus B bar. So this is your answer. Okay. So this is another example. Okay. Simplification using two variable K map. Okay. So for this uh, example, X or gate truth table. So based on this X or gate truth table, you only have two value of one. So and then you map to your K map. So when you map to your K map. This is the position of your output. Okay, so these two cell is not considered adjacent cell, so you cannot loop. Okay, you cannot loop between these two cell. Okay, you just only can uh, loop. Okay, when the cells are adjacent only. That's why you need to understand the concept of adjacent. What I mean by adjacent? So adjacent is actually referring to a cell uh, that uh, differ only one variable. Okay, when the cells differ only one variable, so that cell will consider adjacent cell. So for this case, this is not adjacent. But you still need to write the equations. So how you can write the equations? Okay, because both are not adjacent, you just read the value for each cell what is the product term for each cell so for this product term okay this one this is a b bar okay plus this one is a bar and b okay. so if the uh, value uh, cannot be a uh, loop okay, it means that it's not the uh, adjacent cell so you can live without uh, draw the loop or you juga boleh loopkan dia. Tak ada masalah. Tapi you loop tu dia macam satu je lah. Dia macam ni. Ha, boleh juga. Maksudnya kalau value tu single, satu saja, sama ada you nak loop ataupun you boleh tinggal je. Okay, tak ada masalah. Okay, so this is for simplification using two variable K map.